Managing weeds and day-neutral strawberries is critical to their success. However, this is also a time-consuming task. Whether you're growing organic or conventional strawberries, you should prepare for a lot of physical work to keep weeds from competing with those high-value berries. In the absence of weeds, we know that day-neutral strawberry plants can thrive in our Minnesota climate and produce well with yields of one to one and a half pounds per plant expected with good management. There are three main strategies we can use against weeds in day-neutral strawberries. Mulch, hand removal, and cultivation. Herbicides are difficult to use in this system, so even conventional growers will need to embrace these organic practices. The first line of defense against yeah. weeds for day-neutrals is mulch. Mulch over the strawberry rows simply creates a physical barrier between the soil and sunlight to, pre to prevent the weeds from germinating and growing. A grower can choose between plastic mulch, paper mulch, or straw. We've seen growers using cardboard, but can't vouch for its effectiveness or ease of use since it hasn't been included in our trials. So far, research and many grower experiences have found that plastic mulch is still the most effective material for preventing weeds, and past research trials have found that white on black plastic performs best in terms of strawberry yield. Straw can be effective at suppressing weeds, but yields are generally lower on straw. Because plastic on every row produces a lot of waste each year, researchers at University of Minnesota and University of Wisconsin have been experimenting with alternative mulches like paper mulch and biodegradable fabric. The paper mulch performed differently in Minnesota than it did in Wisconsin. In Minnesota, it started to fall apart shortly after it was installed. By midsummer, most of it was completely gone. But in Wisconsin, the paper mulch stayed intact until the beginning of September, suppressing weeds and allowing the plants to establish themselves. By the time it fell apart in September, it was late enough in the season that weeds were no longer an issue. We don't know yet why the paper mulch failed in Minnesota and succeeded in Wisconsin. No matter what mulch you use, that mulch is only covering the strawberry rows. Weeds still come up in the walkways as well as the holes where the strawberry plants come through. Weeds in the walkways can host insect pests like tarnished plant bugs and spider mites. They hold in moisture after a rain, increasing the chances of diseases like anthracnose. Weeds in the walkways can be managed either by mowing, planting a short growing cover crop, cultivating regularly, or installing sturdy landscape fabric. Mowing the rows in the aisles can be done efficiently with a lawnmower, as long as your aisles have been designed to be wide enough to fit a lawnmower through them. Using a string trimmer is time consuming and requires a lot of fuel. Consider electric tools with rechargeable batteries and make your rows wide enough for a lawnmower so that you can get this task done quickly. Short-growing annual cover crops can also provide weed management by competing with weeds for sunlight and soil resources. Species that have been tested in Minnesota include annual rye, clover, tillage radish, and canola. Cover-cropped rows are easier to walk on than tilled rows, and the plants provide several soil health benefits. If you decide to grow cover crops, you should maintain several inches of bare soil between the cover crop and the rows, or else the cover crop can begin to impact your strawberry yield by competing for nutrients and water. The cover crop will likely have to be mowed as well, so that the height of the plants don't interfere with harvest. Many growers choose to cultivate weeds between their rows. Cultivating is an efficient solution, but shortcomings include consuming fossil fuels and repeatedly disturbing the soil ecosystem. Tilled soil is also susceptible to erosion and is difficult to walk on when it's wet. Landscape fabric, while it requires more plastic, can be reused for multiple years, and it's very good at suppressing weeds. It effectively prevents weeds from germinating by blocking out sunlight and heating the soil. It's simple to maintain and leaves the soil undisturbed during the season. The day neutral yeah. strawberry research trials in St. Paul, Minnesota and Madison, Wisconsin have natural grassy vegetation growing in the walkways. The researchers mow it every couple of weeks to keep the height short. They also lightly cultivate a few inches of soil between the grass and the plastic rows to reduce competition and support strawberry yield. Weeds take advantage of every opportunity for sunlight, including the small holes in the plastic where the strawberries are planted. It's really important to hand weed each hole in the first few weeks after planting. If left unattended, weeds in the holes will significantly stunt the growth of the strawberry plants, drastically reducing yield. This should only have to be done for the first few weeks. As the plants grow, they tend to shade out competing weeds in the holes. So the more quickly the plants establish, the quicker they can outcompete those weeds. Plants establish faster than when they're fertigated and irrigated regularly, so a good fertigation schedule and the right equipment are key to success. For more information on growing day-neutral strawberries, visit the University of Minnesota Extension Strawberry Guide online at 
extension.umn.edu slash strawberry dash farming slash day slash neutral slash strawberries. This research is funded by two grant programs, the USDA NEFA Organic Transitions Program and the SARE Research and Education Grant Program.